Good evening, everyone. I'm meteorologist Katie McNeil to have a look at your Ocean Bay and beach forecast for Tuesday. So as you go through the next 24 hours or so, we're looking at clouds rolling in through the area. It's going to be partly to mostly cloudy in the overnight tonight with some patchy fog possible at times, especially down at the coast. But that should clear out pretty nicely as we start the day Tuesday morning. Uh, with those clouds breaking up quite a bit here, leading way to mostly sunny conditions by the afternoon. Another very warm day on tap here with highs inland around 90 degrees. Uh, highs at the coast a little bit cooler with a sea breeze there in the upper 70s to low 80s, but still mild and pleasant. If you're planning on heading down to the coast, evening will be nice as well with plenty of sunshine to end the daylight hours with temperatures still in the low to mid 70s by 11 p.m. tomorrow night. So great for any outdoor time tomorrow evening. Wind forecast, winds are going to be light and variable throughout the day here, uh, shifting from the north west to southerly winds in the second half of the day once we head to the afternoon these winds aren't really going to be changing too much throughout the day staying light right around that five knot mark throughout the remainder of your day on Tuesday. For your overall bay forecast here, that morning patchy fog is going to lead way to partly sunny conditions with some lingering clouds at the coast. Winds, as I mentioned, shifting northwest to south around five knots. Waves will be around two feet with unlimited visibility. But we are concerned again about the rip current risk. Lifeguards are now going to be off duty after Labor Day starting tomorrow. So please be careful if you're heading out to the water. Surf will be around four feet. This is actually due to the remnants of Adalia, which is well to our east, but still impacting us as far as surf and rip currents over the next couple of days. So check back in with us too for Wednesday, as well as that threat is expected to continue. For your UV forecast as well, with lots of sunshine over the next several days, we're looking at plenty of opportunities uh, to catch some uh, sun out there and get a tan, but want to wear that sunscreen with the UV index still at 7 throughout the next several days until really the end of the week when we're seeing some chances for rain. Um, and as always, you can get your full forecast anytime at WPRI.com.